the Cebu City Council's Committee on Urban Planning opposes the proposed construction of a flyover on Pidel Rosario Street. It said this would affect the historical value of the University of San Carlos building, as well as create a conflict with the bus rapid transit project. Kenneth Torres reports. The Cebu City Council's Committee on Urban Planning has expressed its opposition on the construction of the proposed flyover along Pide Rosario Street in the city. City Councilor Joel Garganera, who is the chairman of the Urban Planning Committee, said that the proposed flyover would affect the foundations of the University of San Carlos building. Garganera said the building is one of the oldest buildings in Cebu City and is considered to be of historical value. The councilor also authored the ordinance entitled Cultural Heritage Site Declaration, Protection and Preservation Ordinance of Cebu City. Earlier, USC released its position paper opposing the construction of the flyover. USC President Narciso Celian SVD stated that the project will have a tremendous impact on its 70-year-old Arthur's Dingman building located along P. Del Rosario Street. Garganera also pointed out that the proposed flyover may cause conflict with the bus rapid transit project. He added that the location where to construct the flyover is one of the proposed BRT stations. Should this push through, it would affect the first phase of BRT. The DPWH had proposed to construct a flyover along Natalio Bacalso Avenue from Mambaling flyover to the corner of Leon Quilat Street, which would span to 1.26 kilometers long, and along P. Del Rosario Street, which will span to 1.14 kilometers. The Regional Development Council, Centro Visayas, recently adopted a committee resolution seeking the suspension of the conduct of the 105 million pesos worth detailed engineering design, or DED, study for such proposed flyover projects along Natalio Bacalso Avenue and P. Del Rosario Street. The DED was supposed to be completed by August. Kenneth Torres, Sunstar Tonight.